Hello guys, welcome back to Digital Tech. Today I've got the latest smartwatch with me, the HK9 Pro, which is a multifunctional smartwatch. And yeah, it has an AMOLED display, so let's check it out. Okay, so when you look at the box, it is fully white, and it's mentioned the HK9 Pro, and here it's mentioned as multifunctional smartwatch. And when you turn to the side, here it's seen as titanium case 45mm, so it is a 45mm watch. And when you turn backwards, here also the same thing is mentioned, and then there is the WearFit Pro, the barcode is there so you can scan it and download it in the app store or the google play store so it's compatible with both android and apple and it's also mentioned has uh, made in china so the country where it's manufactured is also mentioned and then if you look at this side the app name is there wrap pro yeah so let's see what's inside the box okay so once we open the box we can see there is the manual first so this is the user manual hk9 pro is mentioned here and it comes in two languages english and chinese so this is the chinese side and here it's the english side and as you can see they have mentioned like how to apply the strap and the app name and the barcode is also mentioned here and yeah somehow some of the features are mentioned here and also if you need to like see how to connect it how to apply the straps and those those small small features you can but it's easy to watch this video and then next we have got the strap so this is what i like to call the crocodile strap and it is also 45 mm but it supports 42 44 and 49 mm also and yeah this strap is quite good it has a beautiful texture and then next let's take the wireless charger so it's a magnetic wireless charger and the input for this is the usb type so yeah you can use it for power banks laptops and other adapters type okay so let's take the watch head next and yes there is a novel sticker with the number nine on it so let's remove this part and yeah so this is the hk9 pro yes it looks really good if you look at the display it has a square design so yes and it is you know can be used by both men and women so it's a unisex model also the display is 45 mm so the display the strap size and the display for the straps is 45 mm and it has a 2.12 inches display that's the display size so that's the size and then if you look at the diameter it is 45 by 38 by 13.2 mm and also it has a weight of 50 grams so the watch weighs around 50 only and so it's, it's quite light, the watch is not heavy at all, so it's quite comfortable to the hand. And then the material which is built, so the front side is glass, so it's AMOLED display glass. And back you can see it's also made of iron CX glass. And the sideways it has a zinc alloy material. And yes, for the resolution, the resolution is mentioned as 485 by 520 pixels. So yes, it's really good, the, the resolution and the refresh rate is really perfect in this watch. And so far it's one of the best models ever released. So yes, so let's, let's see the case. So if you look at the right side of the case, the watch has a scroll button. So this is mostly used for switching on the watch and also for switching on the interface. So while you need to change the interfaces, you can just double click this and the interface changes. Also, you can scroll to check the wallpapers, to change the wallpapers and like to change stuff, zoom in, zoom out. You can use this. Below that, you can see there's a microphone. The, this, this is for the purpose of calling. And then below that, we have the normal button which is to go forward and backward so yeah this is the right side when you go to the left side of the case you can see there is the speaker so this is the speaker receiver so from this where the music plays out and when people speak it comes from this side if you go to the reverse side of the watch you can see they have mentioned that there are some mentions here and also the main part in the behind is the sensor so the you can see the sensor lights are here and also this is where the watch gets charged so the magnetic charger is here and some of the words are series 8 45 mm and the case aluminium and ceramic case i o n x glass and gps so there is a compass in the watch lte and wr this is the water resistant they have mentioned as 50 m water resistant level so it really is not 50 m it doesn't work that much it's just a normal water resistant watch so do not try this using underwater it's not recommended and also you can see in these two sides there is the strap the strap lock button so you can just press this when you're removing the strap so the strap doesn't get damaged yeah, so that's all which I can say from the out appearance of the watch. Let's switch on the watch and check out. Okay, so we switched on the watch. You just press this, this button for a long time, like 5 seconds and it gets on. And yeah, so this is one of the wallpapers. So it's the first one, I think. And yeah, it's the first wallpaper. So it has a mountain valley look in this. And the second one has a beautiful transition. 
as you can see wow the time how it changes looks really good so this is the second wallpaper then this is the third one the roman one fourth the green neon light fifth this also looks really good it has many interactive buttons in this seventh eighth nine so there are nine wallpapers i think in this one and this is the best one as because this one has the gps in it so you can see the the compass is working the compass is working and there's some interactive buttons in this so you can check click the sports mode to go quickly to this and yeah and there is a transition in this set okay let's see so in the same world there is two colors one is the white and the other one is the black red the black red also looks really good so yeah, these are the wallpapers so once you go to the menu styles you can see here the honeycomb menu style is there so one two this looks really good with the earth background in behind three and this is the box square design for the rotational one and yeah so there are four menu styles so the interface looks really good and it's really smooth because the refresh rate in this watch is given as 60 hertz so it's really one of the best smoothness in smoothness wise and touch wise is really good all right and if you go to the home screen and you scroll from top to bottom you can see the messages so this is where the fb the whatsapp all kinds of applications appear here and then from down to top you can see some of the icons here so this is the wake up guest icon and this is the vibrate and then the battery the battery health is here so the next we have the always on mode so what this does is it just yeah, it, it has mentioned the screen will stay on for 5 minutes. So that's the option and then there are several options like you can easily lock the watch, the temporary lock. So you need to just press this 3 seconds to unlock it. Okay, so it's unlocked so that feature is over there. And then other what was there? We can see the payments, the music play, the torch and settings. Get the settings, you can just click this and you can go to settings. Yeah, so that's one from down to top. If it goes to the left to the right, so you can see there's a split screen. So in this, the code to scan to connect the watch is there. The temperature, the weather control is there. So weather, you need to connect the watch to the Bluetooth so your phone and the watch will get synced. So that's there and the time, the date, Wednesday, so the days of mentioned. And commonly used applications are there. So settings and sports mode was the recently used application. So it comes here. So that's there. And then to the right side, the right side, we can see the heart rate. This is where I calculate the heart rate. Yeah, so when you do this behind the light will work. I'll show you if it's working. Please keep it close to the wrist and the skin. So yeah, as you can see the light is working. And it measures. Okay, then next if you again turn around. So this is short video remote control. So what you can do here is if you use if you're using TikTok or YouTube shots, you can just play, pause, go back, go front, and you can also control the volume. So those features are there so it's just a controller and again there is it's a breathe feature so just to like relax your mind this feature is there and then activity record this is the sports mode the fitness tracker and all those activity records are done here and this side you can see once you connect the bluetooth to your yeah the phone bluetooth you can play music and you can forward back front and same you can increase the volume or decrease the volume also yeah so those are the features quick features to the right side next let us check some of the icons in the watch so they have given us a game game flybird so just you have to tap this or else it will fall down so this is a game all right and that's for the maps they have given so you can access the maps once you connect and the switch off button siri control sports mode Sports mode, you can see indoor running, outdoor running. There are several sports mode in this football, badminton. They have many sports mode. Okay, then next you can see there they have given us a stopwatch. So the stopwatch stopwatch feature is there. You just count. All right, and the music play, settings, volume, calculator. So the calculator is there. So yeah. The dial pad is here so recent calls contacts and dial all right so that's also done if you go to settings if you go to settings we can see personal information so this is where the body mass index and all your personal information will be recorded So it's loading here it's connected already the device is connected to the mobile phone 
So my name is mentioned and how the kilos and uh, BMI is mentioned. The notice. In notice, you can see the red dot alert, notification prompt. These are all for the notifications like the SMS and stuff. Like when do you want to see it and that. And then you go to universal, you can see about this machine. So this is the HK9 Pro. The product name is HK1 and the system version is 2.02. The Bluetooth device name is HK9 Pro Call. And yeah, so those are the basic functions. And if you go to language settings, so these are the languages in this watch. So you can choose your preferred language, which we choose as English. All right, and then connect your phone to your mobile device. So this to connect your phone once you get the app. And restore factory settings. This is once if you are giving the watch or you're selling the watch or you're giving the somebody, you can restore all the settings. So all your personal details will get erased. And then reboot and shut down. So these are the general, general options. And there's a no, do not disturb mode, display and bright screen. So display, you can increase the brightness. You can decrease the brightness. And wrist wake up is the wake up gesture when you just turn the watch on, it gets on. And distant light mode or cover to close, intelligent mode, screen off time, always bright, wake up screen. So all this so screen off time, you can select how long you need the watch to keep on. 30 seconds, always bright, 5 minutes, you can keep 10 minutes. But this will consume your battery life, so make sure you keep it below like 20 seconds to 3 minutes is fine. To wake up screen. So wake up screen is after 15 minutes or so after one hour. Alright, so these are some of the features and then the password is there. Password, this one you can use your own password. You can put a passcode and you can turn it on so nobody can access your smartwatch. And the key customizer, you can customize the how you need the settings. The so quick quick message and quick apps. And then the battery backup, the sleep, the sports mode, heart rate, activity record, bedside clock, help guide. So yeah, so those are all the features in the settings. So let's next see how to connect the watch to your mobile device. Okay, first of all, to connect the watch, you, get, you need to get your mobile phone and download the app. So the app name is Wafit Pro. So this is the app. So you can download this in the App Store or the Google Play Store. So I got mine already. So what you do is just switch it on. And here, this is the home screen. So in the home screen, you can see the health. So this is the first one, this is the home and this is the health. So here you, you have some of the biggest sports records, sleep, brain active, healthy heart, so and so, so blood pressure, all is there. And then we have exercise. So these are like some, you know, courses. And there's a zone day training plan, outdoor run, indoor run, box, all are there in this. Then you can find this just to go through the, some of the videos and yeah media and then we go to devices so this is where you connect your device and then we have me so me is where your health data the leaderboard all this your orders where you buy the wallpapers and stuff which i'll show you okay first of all to connect what you need to do is go to devices and at the top you can see the three dots are there so in this three dots you can see scan add device switch to headset so you can either scan by using the code or you can add device or you can switch to a headset me keep this on okay so just click on add device you can either click it here or you can just click on this and there are two three watches here so these are the other models and you need to connect the model which you have purchased so it's hk9 pro just click on connect here and wait till it gets paired so it's it got really quick good connected and here it's connection success so they have mentioned your sports, health, messages, location, address, book, device, configuration, and so and so are synchronized between the mobile phone and the wearable device that is the watch through the Wearfit app. All right. So you just give carry out. So it's loading and yes. So this is the turn on message notification screen. You can see all these should be turned on. Definitely it should be turned on to get messages to your watch. So TikTok, Insta, Facebook, LinkedIn, other. So the other option is there because some of the other apps which are not mentioned here, so all the SMSs that come, even the system SMS that come, will appear here. It will appear on this screen. See so already a Facebook message is there. So what you can do, you can just delete this if you, if, you, if you need to keep it empty. So you can delete this. And yes, so Gmail, all this message will come. So what you do next, again, you carry out. And to activity, test your heart rate. Okay, I know, it's fine. And then this is the please complete the following operations. So to 
connect the Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth and select watch call to connect. So this is the HK9 Pro call. So click on turn on. So it directly goes to your Bluetooth screen. This is your phone Bluetooth screen. Then you can see the HK9 Pro call has appeared. So do not do have to click this one, just click directly to this. Once you go here, they are asking pair with HK9 Pro call, allow access to contacts and call history. Just give that permission and then click on pair. Once you do this, the watch gets connected. So it's connected active. And if you click on this right, this arrow button, you can see you can rename it. You can unpair the device and then the phone calls, media, audio, input device, contact sharing, all are switched on. So yes, all are on. That's fine. So this is how you connect the watch to your mobile device. Let me go to the app and show you some of the features. Go to settings. While system permission, they're asking the permission for your phone. So just give computer, that's fine. And give as configured. So all will be syncing. Now it's done. And as you can see, at the top, HK9 Pro is connected with the battery life as 27%. So yes, it's telling 27% and here you can see your steps count, your calorie burn and your distance and below that we have the hot dial. So these are all the dials which are available in this app and the most recommended are at the top but these which you need to pay an amount of $1 approximately to buy this. So if you go down you can see some are there as free. The free ones are mentioned as installation whereas the ones you need to purchase the dollar sign is mentioned. So these are many, there are many wallpapers in this, if you go to more, you can get more wallpapers. But if you need to like use your own wallpaper, your own photos, if you need to put that to the watch, you can just go to your custom screen server and you can just click on edit. Once you go to edit and click the plus, you can get your access your gallery and from the gallery you will get the photos which you can apply to the watch. And then the background, the style, the person, the time style, it should be top, bottom, all these are there so you can customize it how you prefer and you just click on installation once you are done with that and that's how you use the wallpapers all right below that we have video tutorial and graphic tutorial and then the feature management we have many options application market notification these are all the notifications permissions on favorite contacts whichever contacts you prefer and then the business card weather reports and find device so find device option is just to find your watch if it's like if it's lost close by you can just click on this and you might be able to hear that so this is like to find your device whenever it's like it's not there so it should be within 15 meters gap so then you can find it and there are some ads in this and then below that health reminder is there so you can drink water do the sports get up stand like that and then wallet alarm you can place alarm in the watch so like when you are using it in your hand if the alarm rings when you're sleeping you can wake with that a light sleeper and then taking pictures you can take remote control pictures using the watch other settings and schedule management yeah so these are all the options if you like get any upgrade if the application is working properly please do check if there is the firmware upgrade so this is currently the latest version 2.02 if there's any upgrade you will get a sign here telling you to upgrade the app and then rest of factory settings you can do this and device info about the app and finally delete current device if you do this the current device the hk9 pro will get erased from the app and you can add a new device so that's not necessary here and yeah so this is the features which are there in the watch and the app so if you go to home screen now everything will be synced so you can do exercises the footstep counts everything will be synced so that's fine yeah so that's how you connect it let me take a call and show you how the call works in the watch all right so you go to your dial pad here dial and i'll type a number zero so five 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 double eight one now you can see the mute the mute icon is there also the cut here you can cut the call here and the volume can be adjusted here if you need to increase it or decrease it so you can hear it here so there it's the call is going so that's also working perfectly fine so yeah that's how you connect this watch to your mobile device and i really would prefer this watch compared to all the other clone models as it is so smooth and it has amoled display yeah so when it's fully dark you can see the watch the pixels and everything it looks perfect so this is how you usually check if it's an amoled watch or not 
I can show you this with another watch. Like I'll do a comparison video the next time and show you the difference between AMOLED and a non-AMOLED watch. So stay tuned and watch this video fully. And next, let me show you how to use the strap. Okay, so this is the crocodile strap. So what you need to do is you just gotta keep this. Keep this on. Keep this on. All right. Okay, so you need to make the, the long part will always come in the bottom. And just say, simply, just gently push it in. And then when you take the other strap, the top part of the strap should go to the small side. So I'm going from this side. So yeah, just gently push it in without damaging the straps. Alright, fine. So, let's see, so the strap is done. This is how you apply the strap. And the watch looks really good with the strap on. You need to remove the strap, you can just press this button gently and remove it. And that's how you remove it. I'll also charge the device and show you. So this is the magnetic charger. So it should just be applied there. This side and I'll take a power bank real quick and show you how to charge it. Alright, so the device is charging. There is the dual sp the dual mode on. So if you need to charge it. Keep it like this. So the watch is charging. This green color is charging. That's another feature in this which I'll show you. So you can turn this. See there's both sides. So that is a uh, small feature. Yeah, so we have reviewed, connected and showed you all the features which are there in this watch, the main features, how to connect it, how to use for calls and for sports and everything. If you do like this video, please give us a thumbs up and next we will be doing a comparison between the HK9 Pro and the HW9 Pro Max. So these both watches will be doing a comparison to show you which is really an AMOLED watch. And yeah, so please stay tuned and thank you for watching this video if you've been watching so far. And do subscribe and like and share this video to you and your friends. And yeah, thank you guys. See you soon.